southern Australia. This is big country with big farms. Harvest time here involves lots of people, men, women and children, working every day from dawn to sunset to bring in the crop. At least it used to. Now it takes one man and a very special machine, the combine harvester. They are a dangerous machine. If treated with no respect, they can kill someone. No trouble at all. There are more humans than ever on the planet, and yet the world has never been better fed. That's thanks to a revolution in agricultural techniques, which has allowed modern farms to produce more food more efficiently than ever before. And at the heart of that revolution is one extraordinary machine. It's called a combine because this monster carries out six major operations all at once. It's a cross-country vehicle. It's a mechanical scythe. It's a threshing machine. It cleans the grain. It fertilizes the land. And it delivers grain. It's as if Inspector Gadget retired to the country and took up farming. So, how do they do it? Our journey takes us to Randers in Denmark, a long way from the vast fertile plains of southern Australia. Here, the AGCO factory has been making combines since 1894. It's not like a car plant. You won't find long lines of robots. Combines are produced in much smaller numbers, and as a result, the process is far more labour-intensive. Each of these 16-tonne giants are made up of 3,265 parts, almost all of which are assembled by hand. It might seem like a daunting task. So many mechanical functions and parts, so many things to forget and get wrong. But these guys have a way of doing it. They treat it like yet another famous Danish product, Lego. Before you start building a part in a combine, you put all the pieces that you need for a certain part in the combine on a truss, and once you assemble all your stuff, everything should be used. If you have one left over, you might have one very angry farmer or one big problem, so make sure that everything is used. It will take skilled craftsmen five days to build the harvester, over which time the machine will gradually grow to a height of four meters and a weight of 15,000 kilos. As the combine gradually takes form, each of its various mechanical functions are tested. Bit by bit, the machine comes alive. These spiked tables, for example, help to clean the grain once it's been separated from the straw. The computer controls the nodules and operates a fan which divides the wheat from the straw. Here, 102 rotating blades will attack the remaining straw. They're razor sharp and deliver almost 600 cutting strokes a minute. The combine must operate in all kinds of difficult conditions, including fields which are on a steep incline. And this is the solution. It's a microchip combined with a spirit level. So does it work? We decided to find out with a hot cup of coffee and a concrete ramp. As the wheels climb the slope, the chip ensures the cab stays level. The farmer's coffee is safe. Back inside the factory, the combine is nearing completion. Time for the gigantic wheels to be fitted. Oh. 
And now, the ultimate off-roader is ready to leave the factory. The combine can do so many things. Sadly, going fast isn't one of them. This slow coach has a top speed of just 40 kilometers per hour. It's going to be a long journey, and not just for the combine. Meanwhile, back in its natural habitat, this new combine harvester is ready to be put through its paces. The purpose of the long rotary blades at the front, of course, is to cut down the stems of wheat. But then it's got to collect the wheat. So behind the blades sit two conveyor belts which feed the cut wheat into the mouth of the machine. As the wheat is swallowed, it's chewed by a spiral grinder or auger. Once in the stomach of the harvester, the heads of wheat are separated from the straw. The combine then spews out the straw along the full width of the cutting table. As the straw rots, it will return nutrients to the soil in the field. The grain, meanwhile, is pushed up out of the machine into a storage compartment. And when it's full, the combine's long delivery arm swings into action. The harvester pulls up to a grain lorry and releases its load. The arm pumps out grain at a rate of 100 litres a second. In just two minutes, the entire tankful, 8,000 kilograms, will be unloaded. That's enough grain to make 14,000 loaves of bread, 50,000 portions of pasta, or over 140,000 pints of beer. And combines don't just harvest wheat. They also harvest and process crops like flax, which goes into everything from banknotes to tea bags.